Hello, ball bags. Welcome to another frame of me one versus me two snooker. Um, I'm hoping we are not buffering. We had some problems with Twitch of Fun and uh, some chat in the chat room about buffering. Maybe they're just playing with. They're, maybe they're yanking my old plonker there. Who knows? Who knows what they're up to? But. Um, we are going to press on regardless because, you know, if it doesn't work live, it'll work in the future. Um, I don't know if they're. I don't know if they're pulling my plonker. They're pulling my old. They're pulling my plonker in the. That's my, they're all yanking on me old plonker in the chat room. I think. Um, anyway, welcome to. Uh, to another me one versus me two snooker it's frame 144 getting very close to that 147 break that we've all been looking forward to and um there's 80 people watching that's how good it's got and uh some exciting news for badgers today well the rest of you will find out later but if you are a monthly badger uh, a whole new system about to come into operation check your emails if you can't don't get the email you should do and you know you know, tech stuff doesn't work, does it? Um, check out the secret area at rahalastapa.co.uk and you'll find out what's going on and what is expected of you. Some changes you might need to make. Um, it's mainly good news, I think. I think it's probably good news for everyone. It's definitely uh, good news for me. But uh, we hope you will uh, stay with us in these difficult times. Uh Sadly, uh, it's 8.02. Uh, I'd love to bring you the latest football scores, but there are none. Uh, Bahrain played uh, Thailand, I think, earlier. And uh, not giving you the score because it's a final score. But uh, it's going to be... It's gonna, we're going to have to wait a little while for the football season to come back before we can really uh, enjoy that part of the service. I know a lot of you tune in for just that. Oh, I should say that Horst Sackleton-Benz Family got in touch and said they did not want the arena named after him anymore. So it's my sad duty to inform you. I mean, it's a happy thing because it's a beautiful honour, but it's a sad thing um, because it does uh, involve the death of uh, an academic, probably in my top 10 South Korean academics of all time. That's living and dead. Uh, you know, knew him as the, I'm trying to break it to gently, president of the Hancock University of Foreign Studies. That's what he did that between 94, 2004, tenure, tenure. And uh, trying to, he did a fantastic job, or she did a fantastic job in that time. Um, they were Fulbright scholar in residence at the University of Delaware. What did Delaware, boy? And I think I've given, I think you've had, had enough clues as to who it is. Um, it is, of course... And by young man, I'm just a moment's pause. <laughs> just a moment's pause as uh, we think of all of the things. And I'm and by young man. I'm I'm and by young man. Um, it was a non-party politician. He served as Minister of Education, of course, 2008 to 2010, working almost right up to the end. Just 12 years ago, that job finished. 81 years young, he was. He requested. The resignations, resignations of seven senior officials in the ministry. Um, that sounds quite an exciting story. I should read the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, he had a good, he had a good knock. He had a good innings. Made a lot of changes to North Korea, South Korean um, uh, politics and uh, and education, and uh, of course, dean of student affairs in the graduate school before his presidencies on. On young man. <laughs> uh, I'm not laughing. At, I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing. At, I'm laughing through tra tragedy, through the tears, through the tragedy. Um, Han Hancock uh, University, of course. Rest in peace, indeed, says Ian Amazon, and you know he should know. Um, let's get uh, fantastic run of form from uh, from. Uh, Sybil, who predicts the future until last week, uh, where she royally fucked up. Um, me too, won by 28 points. She predicted me one will win by 11. How do you explain that? Who did I? Sybil, 
I exist at all time. I am with you. I'm inside you. I'm in your bottoms. You're in my bottom. Yeah, you're in. I'm in your brains. I hear all your thoughts. I hear the thoughts of everyone and everything that has ever lived, even an ant. Even an ant, yes. For I am civil, and I know it all. How did you get the score so wrong last time? Did I get it wrong, Richard? Or did I get it very right? You got it quite wrong. Who do you think will win today? Let me look into the future. And also, you could have predicted that I, that referee one would fuck up. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. I have to admit. I predict that me too will win. I let me think it's coming to me 26 points me too to win by 26 points that is quite a victory here's what's going to happen to referee one I think referee one will be fired by the rocket into the heart of the sun let's see if you get that right that would be amazing if you get that right there is a lot of uh uh, talk over the role of referee one in the last a few frames it made some terrible decisions and I'm not spotted some stuff that uh, possibly should have been spotted uh, called uh, in the last what seven frames there's been two that have had to be replayed uh, the National League the self-playing Suka Federation have convened all infinity members got together for a vote it was infinity for and infinity against but there were more infinities in the infinity that was against referee one uh referee one is about to be just off camera actually we haven't got a camera on it there's a rocket he's about to be fired into the heart of the sun you have to get in quick because because the sun uh is about to go down it's still just up so we can just into we fire it off now we can just see referee one or referee two whichever one he was either way they're both in the heart of the sun now or at least out in space. That's the rocket starting up. Uh, I've got a microphone that uh, you can't hear the noise beneath. When we look at my face, how surprised I am. Going, it's right up in the sky now. Really should have. I mean, out of all the things we have on this show, this is probably the thing we probably wanted to put the camera on. I could move it, but it's a bit late now. It's quite, it's almost just a dot in the sky. Should take a couple of minutes to crash into the sun, of course. We'll probably hear, we'll probably hear the sound of that crashing into the sun. It may cause an explosion that destroys the sun. We can't be sure. Um, it, or it might be all right. But it'll take eight minutes for the light to fail to come back if the sun is destroyed. Where well, it's hit the sun. I don't know if you heard that. Um, some distance away. And uh, that is the end of referee one or two, whichever one he was. We uh, are bringing in a new referee. Uh, hopefully a, a new broom to sweep. And again, sweeping out the old, bringing in the new. Referee three is... There aren't many women involved in this sport. Me, 11, actually was a fantastic referee as well for one of the finals. Uh, in those tournaments back in uh, the lockdown times. Uh, referee 3 is taking over and she, checking your prejudices, uh, is officiating. How are we doing? How are you feeling about the new job, Referee 3? I'm feeling pretty good, Richard. Um, it's nice to uh, that uh, female referees have finally been recognised in this sport. Um, also, um, you know, I'm a bit scared about being shot into the heart of the sun, but I think I should be all right. So, um you know, I've set up the board and everything. I've got the. I've remembered to put the scoreboard down to zero, so um, everything's okay. That's right. You're a very attractive woman, if you don't mind me saying, Richard. Um, once again, I, I would. I speak for myself and for me, eleven. Please stop objectifying us. We are doing a job here. We don't want to be distracted. You're a very attractive man, but I'm not allowing. Thank you. I'm not allowing myself to be distracted by that. I my my lover is the old green board out there right behind me i'm faithful to that green board richard and i'm going to be the best damn referee you've ever just to show the sexist out there and I can see him in the chat room all going oh no not a woman oh fuck when what will she do when she's on that's andy mccage talking about me being on my periods there in the chat room absolutely disgraceful sexism saying um i won't be able to I'll get hysterical that's uh Ian Amazon saying I'm going to be hysterical if 
Uh, the sexism coming out from the people in the, the chat room it is it is too much, Richard, and I'm going to prove them wrong. They're horrible, sexist people. Well, that, some strong words there. Well, you know, it's nice to see the sport um, moving into the future. Very attractive um, woman as well. And I don't think that you shouldn't be allowed to say she's very good at a job, probably. We don't know. And she's very attractive. Is that uh, is that wrong to say that? If that's wrong, then I'm sexist, I suppose. It is wrong and you are sexist. Right. Um, not playing Scrabble tonight. I am. Uh, thank you for asking Invasion McMicry first non-sexist comment. Um, I think he's implying that playing Scrabble. I played Scrabble last week after the after the Stuka tournament. And I easily beat my wife, even though I was very tired. Uh, I have to walk the dog because uh, one thing and another, we've left it very late tonight. And uh, one of us looking after kids, the other one was out. I was recording some podcasts. And my wife's looking after the kids. Then I came down and she was going out. Uh, I had to put the kids to bed. Uh, my wife came back, and there was only it was ten to eight. Oh, what do I do? I let the people, the one hundred and eighteen people waiting to see this down, or do I let down my dog? I'm going to let down my dog. So well, let's get it over with nice and quickly. Let's first of all talk to the uh, players, of course, before we crack on with the uh, last week's winner. Me too. He's just sitting down there. Just he's just put on his reading glasses for some reason. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good, Richard. Feeling good. Um, good to have picked up a frame after all this time I, i'm confident i'm back i you know i have to admit i got a little jittery things were be, me one was coming back he was right up my ass wasn't he He was just looking it was like his tongue was reaching out it was about to get in my ass and i had to pull away for that tongue got in there um so i pulled away and just missed the the, the rimming and you know, I think that was the right thing to do. So I'm glad to be... You, you thought he was going to rim you. Uh, that's metaphorically, possibly literally as well. OK. Um, are you playing for anyone in particular tonight? Richard, I'm playing... I always play for all my fans. I appreciate my fans out there. Thank you for being fans. Do stay fans. Um, I won't let you down, guys. I'm a good guy. Look, I've had some problems with booze, with women, sometimes with men. Um... Sometimes I've just been lonely and and afraid, but I'm back and I'm good, and I'm going to win today. It's going to be seventy two frame sixty five. I'm going to win by twenty six points. It's been predicted, and so it must be shall. Well, we'll see. I wonder how much the predictions of Sybil play on the mind of the players. Maybe it says they play on the mind, and then they they assume it's going to happen, and then it happens. I don't know. Only. Um, Byung Man was still alive. He could research that, find out for us. But sadly, he's and the Byung Man, Byung Man, Byung Man is no longer a man. He's just a collection of atoms, roughly shaped like one. Um, me too. Me sorry, me one. They do look so similar. It's easy to, uh, to mistake them for each other. Very different playing styles. These players. Me one, the normal man. How are you feeling? Richard, uh, I, let, I let it go last week, but only because of the terrible refereeing error. I, I, for one, am delighted to see that fucker burning in the sun as he belongs there. But I understand the sun is made of fire. I understand it's quite a painful death to be burnt to death in an explosion. Um, and, uh, and to be honest, I think uh, he's got away lightly with that. And... Um, I'm delighted. I'm glad he's dead. Uh, and I'm really glad referee three's turned up. Something for the, you know, I may be a married man, but uh, that doesn't mean I'm dead behind the ears. It doesn't mean my eyes don't work. It doesn't mean my penis doesn't function. Uh, so it was nice to see. I'm going to enjoy seeing her, putting on, putting, handling my balls. I think that's the kind of sexism she didn't want. Well, you can't talk. You're being sexist as well. Well, I'm di it's different for me because I'm just the host. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm happily married, but you know what the wife doesn't find out about. How would she find? How would she find out? It is being broadcast live. Yeah, I think I think I'm safe. <laughs> no offense, Rich, to you and your, you know, your popularity as a comedian. <laughs> I think I'm safe. It'll be up on YouTube. <laughs> I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Okay. Well, let's see what happens tonight. Me too. We'll be breaking. Will he go in off? That is the big question that everyone is asking. Let's hand over 
to the Beyond Men, commentator one, commentator two, very much the Beyond Men of this show, uh, in the An Beyond Man arena. Commentator one, commentator two, how's it going there? It's pretty good, Richard, thank you, nice to see you there. Um, your jacket there, your hand for some reason hanging out of your jacket, very strange. There's the old green board, it's looking good, a lot of people complaining that... Uh, the board isn't straight. That there's that there's a there's, the balls are going going one way or the other. I have to say, you know, you may be used to prissy Nancy boy snooker on the television. Two Nancy boys playing against each other rather than themselves, and they need everything to be nice and straight and flat because it's too hard otherwise. Well, get used to extreme snooker, my friends. As here we are. There's no Nancy boys here, just real men trying to room each other. And that is what we're here for. Commentator 2, anything to say? Well, I think I'll be very surprised if this uh, sporting contest is not cancelled. The stuff that's been going on today. Uh, and I would like to express that I have no part in any of what's going on. There it is, the old green board. Me too. He's moving up to the hockey, his trademark, two pairs of glasses on his head. And uh, can he stop going in off? He's gone in off. They really should learn how to not do that. It's like four points immediately to the other player, but uh, that's uh, it, that prediction of winning by 26 points looks a bit ridiculous now that me, me too is four points behind, but will it be five points behind? Can we one, get straight in and score? Oh, very close, uh, hits the posts. Me too. He's going for a plant. Dangerous tactic, but it's worked. And, uh, yeah, there's not much hit on here for him. He's gone for the black, trying to get behind the black. I don't think it's really worked. Me too, gets a break of one. Was it me too or me one? Yeah, me too, wasn't it? Me one missed. Me one could pull that back and has done. I don't think the black can get round that red, but uh, there's not really much else he can do than hit the black. So he just pops the black. Oh dear me, one has rather set up me two there. Possibly for eight, a break of eight if me two. Oh, he's not got the eight, I don't think. I don't think he can pull this one back. He's going for it. He hasn't pulled it back, hasn't gone in off. So me two is up to two. Me one has five. Three points between these two players. Anything could happen. Me one at the Ocarini. Oh, that was a good shot. Uh, very unlucky. Nothing went down. Me too. Another plant. His second plant. And he's on the black, I think. That was proper professional play. That wasn't so good. He needed to get down in front of that. But he's slowly crawling his way back into contention. Me one. Me one. Seen a plant. Oh, doesn't work for him. Me too. Simple shot into the centre pocket. Not really on anything here either. It's going for the green. Oh, that could be a mistake. It is a mistake. Me too, just as he was getting back into contention, gives four points away, he's gone in off, off the green. Did he, oh no, he pot, what happened? He potted a red, did he? Yeah, he potted a red or something. Well, anyway, he's gone wrong. Calculating, calculating, me one, nine, me two, four. And here's me one. Oh, nice try from me one. I've been being a bit unlucky, and that's the camber that some of the people have been talking about. Me too. No, he was going to try something, but he hasn't gone for it. Me one. Try something. Oh, and it works for me one. What a shot. I wish I could explain that to people listening in audio only, but I just can't. Me one. Can you get this black? He went down for it. Oh, and then he goes in off. Me one. Defying the predictions of the terrifying puppet. Comfortably ahead, me too. Trying to triple it. No chance. Me one, 10-4 ahead. Tries a double, what a shot that was. I mean, me one does seem to be on fire, I'm not literally, and just doesn't even go down. Look at that green, just um, slots it into the old green hole for a break of four, highest break of the night. Can he get this red past the black and into the pocket? Oh no! Me one goes the wrong side of the black. May have got a break of four, but has given away seven after potting the black. 
Oh, and that could prove a costly error. Kagali dink, kagali dink, me one, 14, me two, 11, me two. He's going to be buoyed by that. Not to the extent that he's going to pot a ball. Me one, there's nothing you can do here. Oh, I say that, but he sort of almost found a way through. Me too. He checks that red, can't get it in. Checks this red. He's trying to double it into the top pocket. Brave, but foolish, because it was never going to happen. Me one. The chair's in the way. Oh! Me one went, the ball he didn't go for, almost went in, but now me too has a very good chance to get a break of eight. Maybe even more, this will be the highest break of the night. If he can pot, he's potted the red. Can he pot the black? Of course he can. He's now on the final red. And suddenly, Sybil's prediction makes sense. Oh, he's potted three balls in a row. He's looking at the blue. Oh, I think conscious that he could go in off there. Just slightly skewed it, but a wonderful break of nine points. To me too, he's the first over 20. He's six points ahead. We're down to the colours. Me one. No mistakes yet from referee one, it has to be said. Me one messes up the yellow. Me two. Pots the yellow. Me too, can he pot this impossible green? Oh, he had a good go, it doesn't work out. But me too, up to 22. Eight points ahead. Me one. Must be worrying about that prediction. But, oh, I th think going for a snooker, I'm not getting it, me too. Oh, he actually tried that time and beautifully potted the green. He's going down, he's learnt that going down looking can be a big help. Oh, not quite, oh! Me too gets three, but he's gone in off somehow. Twenty-two points left on the table. It's keep me one eighteen. Me two twenty-five. Low scoring match. Referee three makes a mistake. It's not an important one. She went to the wrong pocket for the cue ball. It's all right. So me one. Oh, and that advantage thrown away. So I think he was trying. To, she was. He was trying to double into the centre pocket, but he actually managed to. The cue ball bounced back off the brown and went and doubled its way into the top corner. Me too. Once again, tries to actually hit the ball in using skill. Nearly does it. Me one. Oh. Is he going to go in off again? He has gone in off again and suddenly... Oh my goodness. Four more points. Is that 34 plays 18 or 33 plays 18? 33 plays 18. This is starting to get a bit spooky, right? 22 points left on the board. Me too to play. A beautiful shot. He tried a bit of backspin on the blue, did uh, on the cue ball to get to blue. Didn't quite work. He's potted the brown. Can he double this blue? No. Me too is 19 points ahead. This is getting spooky. Me one. There's 18 points on the board. Needs a snooker. He's only just realised that. Tries to get the blue up behind the black. That did not help. Oh, me too. Oh, me too. Misses a quite an easy shot and is given me one the check. Me one's back in the match. He's gone in off. 37 plays, 23. 18 on the board. Me one to play. Me one will not be put off by superstitious dolls. Oh, fuck. He misses, but he might have got another snooker. Nah. Me too. Oh, the most audacious shot you've ever seen. I hope that was caught on camera. How he worked that out, me too. How he worked out that would go in, I don't know. Oh. But then, me too. Oh, what can you do? Attempting to show off misses the... Pink all together. 29 plays 42. What is that? 23 points between these players, I think. Me one needs a snooker. Desperately trying not to pop the pink. Me too. Manages to hit the pink this time. 
Has he got it in? Oh, almost. Me one. He's, oh, nearly goes in off. And that hasn't fallen the way he hoped, I don't think. Me too. Oh, audacious. Audacious. Picks up 13 points. Oh, my stars. Are you scared? Are you scared, my friends? You should be scared. Me too has just got a break of 15. He's 26 points ahead of me one. Just, just as Sybil predicted. What an incredible... So, can you believe, uh, why aren't people going mentally ill in the chat room? That is so scary. The chat room seems to think there's some mistake. There was no mistake. You have misread it. Referee 3 did a beautiful job. I'm not saying she's beautiful, I'm saying the job was beautiful. That is absolutely unbelievable. It's 29... Plays twenty nine plays fifty five, and that's twenty six points. Just like Sybil said. And you know what? I decided to stop thinking about what the scores were before the end, so it wouldn't affect the game, and I didn't know what it would matter, and so I didn't know that would happen. And so it isn't because I've got any control of it and I don't because I don't even... I'm the commentator for a start. And I, back over to... I don't play the game. The players play the game. Back to Richard. Richard. Yeah, I'm as God snapped as... I'm as God snapped as you. Um, she said it between... And the thing is, she made me close her eyes and 26 very clearly came into my... Even though I can't see anything because I've got aphantasia, when I close my eyes, 26... That's what I could see, even though I can't see anything. And uh, yeah, it's good, isn't it? And there's still people complaining that nothing. She didn't do anything wrong. The referee did a fantastic job. You're just being it's your sexism. Let's talk to the players. I've got to go and walk the dog. Me, one first of all, loser. How you feel? I'm just, I'm distraught and slightly spooked. Um, I'm worried that whatever Sybil says. Will come true. I mean, it's, she's been doing this for uh, several months, and that's the first time she's ever got it exactly right. Still, uh, scaring it because she could have said twenty-five, twenty-seven. You know, Richard, you were the one whose mind it appeared in somehow. I am, and even though I can't see things, it appeared. I can imagine things, but I can't see them. So uh, the twenty-six came into my head, even though I couldn't see it. I'll close my eyes and look again. And, you know, it's, I can't quite explain the way I imagine. It's not like the way you guys do, but. That's clearly what was in my head, and she put it in there, and then she said it. Amazing. I don't know how she read my mind. That's the scariest bit of it all. Anyway, we don't have time for that. Let's talk about snooker. No, let's talk about that. It wasn't referee, th what, referee three views? Very good referee, Richard. If you know what I'm talking about. No. <sighs> Me too, sitting down. Hey, feeling? Well, Richard, I I knew it would happen. It was, it was predicted. It came to pa pass. As always, exactly like Sybil predicts. It's good to have so many females in this show now. Not for the reasons that everyone else seems to be going about. Just for equity and equality in life. But, you know, it's good to see. I'm back to 72. Back to seven frames ahead. Uh, I think game over. Bookies are paying out. But uh, I'll come back next week. Give it another go. Well, very magnanimous of you. And uh, if you are a monthly badger, do check your emails. Do check the website for uh, the upcoming changes. Decide what you want to do with those changes. Thank you for those of you who have already said to her you will support us in the way that we would like to be supported. Um, well done, Referee 3. I thought she was a, did a great job. I'm not being patronising. Just very good. Apart from when she tried to pick the white ball out of the top pocket. <laughs> Come on. Women referees, am I right? Um, apart from that, she did uh, very, very well for a girl. So, um, congrats to her. And uh, more, most congrats, I suppose, to... Well, I was going to say to me too, but most congrats to Sybil. Let's see what she has to say. 
Yes, Richard, I knew it would be 26 points, and I knew the two would win, and that's why I said it. Ooh. There you go. So, I'm going to walk the dog. She's been waiting. She usually gets walked back 6.30, so sorry, Wolfie, if you're watching the repeats. And uh, we'll be back next week, probably, with frame 145, so close to 147. That's, people said we couldn't get there, but we're going to do it. Thanks for watching. Sorry there's no football this week. And uh, we'll be back with you. I think it all worked all right, didn't it? Didn't it? Worked all right. See ya.